Hello everyone, my name is Sam Spade and welcome to another Coding Fundamentals and GML tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about arrays. In this part, we're going to cover what arrays are, how to create them, how to reference and change them, how to grow and shrink them, and how to clear or destroy them. Let's start with what they are. Arrays, as we said in the data types tutorial, are a type of data in GameMaker Studio 2 that holds other types of data. You can think of it like a list, and I have an asterisk here because Game Maker Studio 2 actually has something called a list, uh, which is not what I'm referring to. Instead, I'm referring to just the list in your everyday life, like a grocery list or to-do list. Arrays can hold any type of data, including other arrays or other data structures, and they can go as far in as you want. Arrays can hold arrays, which can hold arrays, which can hold arrays. Arrays are also zero indexed. Arrays start with zero. They go zero, one, two, three. And what this means is that an array with a length of 5 has indexes between 0 and 4. An array with a length of 10 would have indexes between 0 and 9. An array with a length of 1 would have only one index, and that index would be 0. We'll see a lot of examples of this as we go through the code. Um, if it seems confusing, it can be at first, but it's very easy to get used to. In fact, once you get used to it, you might actually find that you use this zero indexing by accident in your real life and other people look at you funny. So how do you create arrays? Well, there are essentially three different ways, although I would really recommend sticking to the first two. The first way is with the built-in GameMaker function array create. This requires you to define the length and gives you the option of specifying a default value. If you specify a default value, Every value in the array will be set to that. If you don't, it'll be set to zero. The other option is array literals. The third option is using the way that GameMaker Studio 2 automatically grows arrays, but we're gonna set that aside for a moment and come back to it uh, later on in this tutorial. The first way is array create. Option one of array create, you can add in a default value. This would initialize everything to zero. Option two would be to not use that default value, but just to give the length. This would also initialize everything to zero because by default, the game maker will use zero. But this number could be something else as we'll see in the example code. One important thing to remember is that if you create an array with a length of three, the indexes are gonna be zero, one, and two. Then there's array literals. This is done by just creating a open brackets, then putting in each value separated by a comma, and I'm just using numbers here, but these could be anything, and then close brackets when you're done. So this would create an array with a length of three that has position zero, one, and two, where those positions would also be the value zero, one, and two. Setting and referencing values inside of an array requires you to use these brackets. So you use the array name, then open brackets, then the index or the position in the array you want to specify, and then close brackets. So this would set the first value of array one to 10. And this line would set the second position, which would actually be the third, because you're going zero, one, two. So this would set the third position, which is the second index in the array to hello world. Referencing values inside of an array is done the exact same way. You would say array one, open brackets, the position, close brackets. And then you can assign that value as we're doing here. You could use it in a conditional statement or some type of check like that, pass it in as an argument to a script or anything that you would normally do when referencing a variable. So here you would be getting the value 10 if this was the same array. And here, this is actually a typo, this should be two. You would get hello world if it were two. Uh, and you would assign that value to my text. The next thing to know about arrays is that in GameMaker Studio 2, you can automatically increase the size or grow the size of an array, but they cannot be shrunk. So GameMaker Studio 2 allows you to make arrays larger. It does not allow you to make arrays smaller. Now you can, of course, make a smaller array and copy the values over, but that's what you'd have to do. It's one of the primary limitations to arrays is that they can grow but don't natively shrink. If you need arrays to grow and shrink, you'd probably want to use a DS list, which we'll have another tutorial about. So here's an example of an array automatically growing. We create it with a length of three, which again means it would have positions zero, one, and two. And then we can just set the value of position four, which would actually grow the array by two, because remember, an array with a length of three will go up to two. So an array with a length, or an array with an index of four would actually be a length of five. So this would increase the array by two, just like array create where you don't specify a default value, 
game maker will populate those values with a zero. And just like with array create, when you don't specify a default value, when you grow an array in this manner, the values in between will be set to zero by default. Finally, not only does game maker grow an array, but if no array exists, it will actually create one. So this is the third way to create an array. You could say array two, position four, zero, and this would be exactly the same as saying array create five comma zero. So this will not only grow an array, but it will create it. Personally, I would not recommend using this method to create arrays. It's only a little bit shorter than the built-in function array create, and it has one big disadvantage. That disadvantage is when you're looking at it later, you can't tell whether or not that array is being created or modified. You know, looking at this code, there's no way to know whether this is an existing array or whether it's going to be a new array. So simply for code documentation purposes, I would recommend using array create and not using this array grow ability. Arrays in GameMaker uh, are handled for you. All their memory is handled for you behind the scenes by GameMaker Studio 2. They will automatically destroy the arrays for you if nothing references them. So if you want to destroy an array, all you really need to do is array equals negative one, and that would destroy it if there is only one reference to that array. And we'll talk about having multiple references to the array in part two. Okay, let's switch over to GameMaker Studio 2 and see some of this in action. As always, I put a breakpoint here and run this in the debugger so we can watch as it goes along. We're going to create the first array using array create three. Notice we did not specify any default value. And when we come over here, it's created an array with three positions where they're all set to zero. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but the zero index thing is actually very important. Note that although we created an array with a length of three, we have the values or the indexes of zero, one, and two. Now we're going to use array create with negative one. So this creates an array, again, of three positions, zero, one, and two, where each value is negative one. Finally, we're going to create with an array literal. So we're going to do zero, one, and two. This creates an array of three positions, again, zero, one, two, where the values are these three values, zero, one, and then two. Just as a practice note, I always use array create if I want to create an array, but I don't want to have initial values in it. I either want it to just be set to a default value uh, or something like that. And I use array literals when I'm creating an array where I know what the values will be when I create it. So now we come down here and we are going to set, let me close these up. We're going to set the zero position or the first position of array one to 10. There you go, it's been changed to 10. Then we're gonna set the next index, which is one, second position to hello world, it's been set. And now we're going to reference those variables using the same format as up here, zero for my number, so my number should equal 10, and indeed it does. And then my text should equal hello world. And again, my text equals hello world because we are referencing index one, which is right here, index one, which is hello world. So now we're going to automatically grow this array. Notice that it's 10, hello, zero. Those are the values that it currently has. And it has zero, one, and two for indexes. So we're going to set the fourth index to zero. Now you can see that it goes zero, one, two, three, four. So this array automatically grew by two positions. The fourth index is zero, and also this third index is zero. And then finally, we're going to create an array. Here, let's order these. So we got one, two, and three. We're going to create array four, which will have a length five, and all those values will be set to zero. So again, we use the way that GameMaker automatically creates and grows arrays uh, to just create an array. But like I said, I wouldn't actually use this in code because when you look at it, there's no way to know that you've actually created an array here. It looks exactly like this line right here where we just grew it a little bit. And finally, I'm going to basically destroy array one by setting its value to negative one. You can see up here, array one, it's currently an array. Now it's negative one, and that array is gone. So in summary, arrays can be thought of like a list in real life, a sequence of values. They are always zero indexed, which means that the first position of an array is zero, and that the final position or the final index of an array will always be one less than the length of that array. So an array with a length of five, the final index will be four. There are three ways to create them. You can use array create, array literals, or automatically grow them and create them at the same time. Although I recommend sticking with just array create or array literals. They are referenced and set with the form the 
variable name, open brackets, the index that you want to set or change or reference, and then close bracket. And importantly, in GameMaker Studio 2, arrays can grow, but they cannot shrink. As always, the links in this slide will be below, along with links to the source code and the slides themselves. And we'll be back for part two. That's it. Thanks for watching.